Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Nate Diaz. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute roars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Nurmagomedov is 31, Diaz is 35. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Here we go, round one of what is one of the bigger fights we can make in any division. It'll be contested at lightweight, of course, Nate Diaz versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. 
Magomedov. What have you said to Khabib in advance of this one in terms of how he approaches the length and the striking game of Nate Diaz? Just to be patient. Stay close. Don't buy into the game that Nate Diaz is going to play with him. He has to stay the course, get on the takedown, wrestle, and wear on Diaz if he's going to get his hand raised. Close guard. Nurmagomedov's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Nice strike. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's gonna try to take it down, there you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Marmago Medovs has got full mount now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Nurmago Medov's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Under two minutes to go. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Nurmago Medov. Lands with the ground and pound here. Final minute of round one. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Diaz gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll take as this fight goes up. Take down, cut, over and over. He secured his take down. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. 
on, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last night. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Nate Diaz. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Left hand punch to the clinch. Just misses with the right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Nermago Menov gets the double leg takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. He blocks the punch. Nice stick to his double leg shot. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. Lands the ground and pound strike. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He actually goes to an omoplata. Great pressure going forward. But it somehow stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your handstand, up, fight the hand, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Now into his mouth. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye starting to shut. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Good, solid strike on the ground. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Ground and pound strike is true. Yeah, 
And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Medov. Seconds winding down in round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. There was one submission attempt in the previous round, and this man is nothing if not an active pursuer of the submission. He's going to continue to chase down that submission. Maybe the next time he gets it locked in, he'll find the finish. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Nice punch here. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. The one-two punch is true. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged? In the oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And attacking on bar. Side control. Now he's in no danger of a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my <laughs> arm's free, and now he falls back into the finishing position. So he taps out oh, due to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling move. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. There on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At one minute, 51 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. And still! So there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things that could plague him tonight. Looked as good as ever for my man. He looked as good as he's ever looked inside the octagon. He's so good at everything, every single skill that you need to become champ. He has mastered, and he showed it in this fight.